Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty Moss. I am a boudoir photographer, self-love advocate, and self-portrait artist. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened to me about a month ago, and I've just kind of got my thoughts together to talk about this openly. Um, in a whole video dedicated to it and that is my Instagram account for my business got deleted. So I wanted to talk to you about it because if you're also a boudoir artist or a creative entrepreneur, I think it's really important that we kind of recognize the platforms that we're using um, and the stipulations that come with using them and the risks that come with using them and growing our business with these platforms. So a buckle in, grab a beverage, a tea, a coffee, whatever you would like, and let's just have a little chit chat. So let's do it. So I've been using Instagram since I started my business. I think still, even though they deleted my account, I still think it's really an important platform to be on as a business and as an artist. I have never put my eggs in one basket and I recognize that our time on Instagram as artists that specialize in this nature of art, um, our time is borrowed, essentially. They don't want us there and getting my account deleted has made that super clear to me that that's their space. Um, so I've never put my eggs in one basket. I've always had two accounts going, um, one for business and one as kind of like my personal photography and art brand, which is Misty Moss. So I've always kind of had Moss Boudoir and then Misty to kind of grow them alongside each other in case one got deleted, which it did. <laughs> and unfortunately my account with more followers got deleted, of course. Um, as boudoir artists, it's pretty hard actually to grow a following on Instagram. If you are watching this as a boudoir photographer, you kind of know what I'm talking about. We can't use hashtags. You don't show up and explore. Um, you kind of get shadow banned like a lot, like a lot. They really just want to make it an uncomfortable experience for you to exist on that platform. And so being able to get to 15,000 followers, which I recognize isn't huge, but it also is kind of huge. Um, it felt really awesome. And I was really excited about the beautiful community and following that I had cultivated there. And then I woke up one day and it was gone. No warning. People ask me, um, quite frequently when I talk about this or when they bring it up, oh, did you have any warning? Did you get any post deleted? Like what happened to lead up to this, to it getting deleted? What terms did you violate? None of them, none of them. I was super careful to always censor my photos and to make sure that everything followed their guidelines to a T. Um, I read them every time they update them, like the whole freaking thing to make sure that I was playing their rules. Um, but they still decided to delete my account without cause or warning. Um, nothing leading up to it was removed. I got no messages saying like, hey, this post violates our terms. Um, they just, poof, wiped me off their map. Uh, I know a lot of accounts that have been deleted, unfortunately, and quite a few of them have gotten them back. So actually when I got deleted, I was kind of like, well, whatever, I'll get my account back, no big deal. I didn't, spoiler alert. Um, I had a lot of people reach out on my behalf to Instagram, to the support team to say, hey, this account was wrongfully deleted, um, please reinstate it. And I myself went through multiple different avenues. There's like different forms. You can fill out on both the Facebook and Instagram page to request that your account get reinstated. I did all of it. Um, they never replied. They are not communicative. They do not give a shit about their creators. So at this point, I don't think it's coming back. So I just started a new account um, so I could share my portfolio and continue connecting with clients and beautiful community members such as yourselves who are watching this. And I had a really good therapy session about it, actually. I was like, I brought it to my therapist and I was like, oh, my account got deleted, it's no big deal. She was like, let's take a minute, let's sit with this, that is a big deal. You put a lot of time and energy and money into growing this account. Um, so kind of having the permission to grieve in that way for something that seems really silly, but actually was a pretty big part of my business. It was really nice to just kind of like have that grieving space. Um, and now I have a lot of clarity and not closure because I don't think I'll ever have closure around it, but clarity around Instagram as a platform. 
So talking to you as maybe another fellow boudoir artist, maybe just another creative entrepreneur, you clicked on this video and you're like, hey, why'd your account get deleted? I don't want mine to get deleted. Let's, <laughs> I wanna watch this video to find out why. I can't tell you why. They don't have rhyme or reason for why they do these things. They have community guidelines that you need to follow and even if you do follow them, you might get deleted anyways. I'm sorry to break it to you. I know a lot of people who have done this, um, who have just been erased. I know a lot of accounts that have content that violates the guidelines or really toes the line, um, that have more followers than me that are still going strong when they can post stuff that kind of is in the gray area and they aren't deleted yet. So they don't really tell us one thing about Instagram that we, that I know, maybe you haven't, figured out yet um, is they are not transparent at all. They do not communicate with their creators. They really don't incentivize posting to their platform at all. So why do we still use Instagram if we run the risk of just having all of our hard work and our communities ripped from underneath us? Why do we still use Instagram? Because everybody else is using Instagram. Our clients are using Instagram. Our peers are using Instagram. Our friends and our families um, and our community members all use this platform. Unfortunately, there isn't a better one. Um, so I created a new account and I'm on it again. Do I love that? No. Am I burnt out? Yes. Am I pissed that this is the evil that we have to subscribe to? Yes. Um, but it's just the way it is. So yeah, my advice to anybody watching this who is like, hey, that really sucks. I don't want that to happen to me. Um, here are things that I really recommend doing so that if it does unfortunately happen to you as well, you can rebuild. And my advice is always have a backup account. I'm really grateful that I had Misty and my business account to grow them together. Um, my Misty account didn't have as many followers, but there was a lot of overlap with the people that followed both accounts. So I was still able to reach my community and be like, hey, this thing happened to me. I'd really appreciate your support. Um, and there was so much support. I'm so grateful for everybody who reached out to report it or just to kind of be there with me in solidarity as I kind of rebuilt um, this huge part of my business. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, that's tip number one. Always have a backup account. Um, don't rely on Instagram for all of your marketing needs. We already know this because the algorithm is so wishy-washy anyways and like are they really showing our content to anybody that actually follows us i don't know anymore i don't know who sees my stuff like half of a percent of people that follow me um so grow your email newsletter list start a facebook group um get your word of mouth like on point make sure people are singing your praises in the streets um just don't rely on instagram solely because it might not be there when you wake up and that is unfortunately just a reality of using that platform is who knows what's gonna happen other things I have to say about that and about Instagram is if you are consuming somebody's content on that platform and you really love the stuff that they put out and the message that they put out into the world and you'd be really sad if one day you just like couldn't find their stuff um, follow them somewhere else go find them on their Facebook group go subscribe to their email newsletter list, go find their Patreon, whatever, whatever other avenues they have of connecting with you as an audience member, go find them, go support them somewhere else that isn't Instagram because Instagram is not reliable and those creators that you love and you look up to and you aspire to be might not be there one day when you wake up because Instagram is evil. <laughs> ah. <laughs> So go find them and support their art somewhere else because I know as somebody who this happened to, it would mean the world if people could find me in other spaces. There's a lot I could say about Instagram as a platform and as a business. Um, I could honestly go on about it for hours, but I guess a thing I want to kind of speak about before the video is over um, is that Instagram is a business run by rich men and they really only want us there on their terms and their rules to kind of subscribe by their business business practices which is really to just make money for their shareholders um, so if you are using this platform just always use it with a grain of salt um, and try to get 
your followers to come find you in other places where you can easily connect with them and it's on your terms. I highly recommend a newsletter list. <laughs> If you're watching this and you want to subscribe to my newsletter list, that would be awesome. It's in my website. I'll leave a link down below. Um, yeah, so that's what I have to say about getting my Instagram account deleted. Um, it was a wild ride. There you guys have it. That's my spiel on getting deleted on Instagram. If you get deleted, I hope you get your account back. I hope mine comes back. Maybe one day. I doubt it. <laughs> um, make a newsletter list. Try other platforms. Put your eggs in a bunch of different baskets and still use it because it's important, but just know that when you use it, you're kind of doing it on borrowed time. So yeah, to Instagram. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Um, I know it's a bit different than my usual ones, but something that I just wanted to talk about. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, all that fun stuff. You can find me on Patreon and Instagram down in the links below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. My plans are so sad. Oh no. Don't make fun of me, internet. I've been away for a while, okay? I have like a sad plan in the corner. Damn it. It's okay.